Hi, my name is Rocky. And my name is Padumo, and this is the house that we play strong. We're here in Eindhoven, ahead of the UEFA Women's Champions League final. Let's go! Yeah, let's go. Welcome to the Ronex Predictor oh, Show. Yes. yes! Playing at camp now, it was just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Crying fan with the lead balls. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Welcome everyone. Welcome in Eindhoven. Welcome at the house of We Play Strong. We are so excited to be back and it feels so good. We are here ahead of the UEFA Women's Champions League final. Barcelona, Wolfsburg, and everyone here in the house. How are you feeling? <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, we've got to make some noise because a lot is going on. We have some special guests coming up. We've got Kalita Popal, amazing speaker. Yeah, we can make some noise when we do some of these names. Yes, we've got some legends in the house. Sonia Bermudez, Connie Paulus, and Daphne van Donselaar. Yes, and after the break, my girl Fadumo, who's right over there, will be right back with a special preview show featuring Julie Fleeting, Lotta Schelling, Bad Meat and Shanice van der Sande. Yes, always good to have all of them here. And let's say a special thank you to all the people at home watching us with the We Play Strong YouTube channel. Shall we say, shall we say hi? Hi, everyone. Hi. All right, cool. So it's time to switch to my girl for Dumo. How are you doing? I'm good, Rocky. Look at us over here. I'm with Hans, who's doing a special portrait of today, inspired by everything happening here. You'll recognize a few of the colors as being part of obviously the We Play Strong logo. So we're going to come back and check that over the next couple of hours or so. But these stars here are going to be with me later on as part of the Euronics Predictor show. How are you guys feeling? Exactly, very excited. It's going to be a big day. Going to enjoy it with everybody. So let's go. Yeah, we, I've seen their competitive side come out a bit early on. They were talking tactics, but it's going to be a big, big day here at the house of we play strong. Obviously, but as you're part of the audience and those of you who are watching at home, you still got the chance to send in your questions. And for those of you in the room, have a think. Think about what you want to ask these legends in the house. It is going to be the legends of the past with the present legends. One, but well, two versus two. And we'll see who is the champion of the Euronics Predictor Show. Mm, very curious to hear. Thank you for Dumo. Amazing guest. Looking forward to that Predictor Show. But now mm -hmm. it's time to officially kick off this event with an amazing, inspirational speaker. I think we met each other in 2019 uh, in Paris. Um, she is a former Afghan football player. She is the director of the Girl Power Organization, designed to help women in minority groups develop confidence and friendship through sports. And Khalida has bravely fought for the rights of women and girls in Afghanistan, but also around the world, particularly in sports, in a context where simply taking part in sport is an act of bravery and, and protest. Please give it up for the amazing Khalida. Hello, everybody. Hey. I am excited, and I hope you're too, because today is the day that we are celebrating the final of UEFA Women's Champions League. The stadium is sold out. The world record is made, another one by the women's football. We are also here to celebrate the unity, diversity, the love, but also recognize and appreciate the sacrifices of all those amazing players and people throughout the history of women's football who made the celebration this day possible for us. When I talk about sacrifices and challenges in women's football, it reminds me of my time as a footballer who stood and used football as a tool to be the voice for voiceless sisters in my country. 
Football helped me to find my purpose in life. To use football to stand for my right as a woman. In a most dangerous country known by the UN. I grew up in Afghanistan, my country, where women and girls can get shot for standing for their basic human right, which is education and playing sport. Street football was one of the best things I knew as a girl growing up with my brothers, with the boys in the neighborhood. I enjoyed the fun part of the game. That's why I started playing football. But it soon changed to a greater mission in my life when I was told that I belong to kitchen and football is not for the women. When I was told I have to learn to serve my future husband and football is for men. On that time, I had two choices, and I was a teenager. One, go home, follow what they want me to do. Two, think about how can I stand for my right? How can I still stand for this something that I love and I enjoy? How can I change that mindset that tell me and tell other girls that we belong to the kitchen and we don't belong to where we love to be. I chose the second one. I started campaign, teaming up with the women, like-minded women and girls, to create our own team, to make history, to change mindset, to stand as a unit and use the beauty and power of this beautiful game to change the culture, to make our culture more inclusive. As a result of our long-term fight, work hard, we managed to get hundreds microphone. Yeah, I hear. As a result, we managed to get hundreds of girls into football. We managed to create our own tournament, later on the league, and then made the history by playing in the first Afghan women's national team. When they told us it's not possible, we made it possible because we believed it. We stood up together, we really fought hard, not just for the fun of the game, but for the love to stay together, to be united, to make difference in our country, in our culture, but also their women and girls to stand for their right, even with a great cost. I was privileged and honored to captain the team and lead my team internationally. And later on, I found my way to the leadership position in Afghanistan Football Federation, where there was no women before me, no women employee. I fought my way to the leadership because I wanted the voice of women in the decision making. I was privileged, again, that I was named as the youngest and the very first female leader in Afghanistan Football Federation. And I made sure <laughs> Thank you. And I made sure to open the doors of opportunity for education, for sport, for job, for more women and girls. But this wasn't an easy journey. It came with a great cost. And not only for me, but also for those people who started, who are the, the first people who started this campaign. From being abused, to facing violence, to being harassed, it led to 
I journey in exile from my country. I had to leave home because my life was in a danger, because I didn't only play football or work in football federation, but I used the platform and the power of that platform and my voice to raise awareness about the challenges that women were facing in my country, to talk about the issues that prevented women from inclusion in the society. It wasn't an easy journey. I ended up being a refugee, lived in different Nordic countries, different refugee centers. It was the toughest journey because from fighting to being someone, then losing the identity to becoming nobody, in becoming a homeless person was difficult. And I was feeling disconnected with my purpose. I've, I thought that I'm defined by the national team, by the positions, by whatever I was doing in my country. But very soon, again, sport, mainly football, helped me to connect again and use that power to tackle different challenges. As a refugee, I was facing and the women in in the new country where I'm living as a refugee right now, Denmark, women were facing racism, discrimination, exclusion, a lot of challenges that minorities are facing in the best, beautiful European countries. But there are still challenges. And I said, okay, how can I play my part? Because when I see challenge, I think about solution, and I think about how can I play my role as a member in a new community, in a new society? How can I do something different? I founded my own organization, Girl Power. That is my give back to the European community, to a new home, a new country that let me be, be there to use the power of sport and education to support women and girls, provide opportunities, network, education, sport, to own their power. Because I believe everyone, every human being, have the power. We don't need to install power in people. We just need to support and help them to figure out what is their power, what is their passion, and how they can use for themselves but also for their communities. That's what we do through Girl Power. But also continued supporting the women's football in my country, the growth of women's football in Afghanistan. Till very recent, when Afghanistan collapsed in the hand of Taliban, a ter terrorist group that took over the country and prevented women from even going to school. Our footballers were in a great danger because the foundation was built on activism. They were in a great danger. And once again, I used the platform, the power that this sport has, the great network of people that it brings to in our lives. And I, I, I'm sure you have experienced or you're experiencing it. I made pledges, I asked for help to, for the people to help me to rescue all those players who are stuck in Afghanistan. In very short time, we managed to get so many people on board from football network and sport network who came together and supported us to rescue hundreds of footballers female footballers and their families outside Afghanistan. Today, our full squad of the national team is in Australia as a refugee, but continue playing football. We have youth teams in Europe and the UK who continue playing football and using that platform to be the voice for voiceless sisters back in Afghanistan. Throughout my journey and experiences as a footballer, as a as person who loves football and the power of this game, I also learned something. 
that my purpose isn't belong to only one place and one country or one people. My purpose is to serve humanity, and that's what I learned from sport, to help people that they need help regardless of who they are. And I can live that purpose no matter if what identity I have, where I come from, where I belong to. And that is where I feel happy and I feel connected with my purpose. And I really hope wherever I go, I share that experience. And I am grateful for football and mindless sport in general that helped me to be the person who I am but also it helped my people, so many women, save their lives. Sport is a great place, but our responsibility within the sport, our responsibility as a footballer, as a media, as an event organizer, we have responsibility to make this game inclusive, safe, where people feel happy, safe, connected. No matter if they are wearing hijab or wearing shorts or speaking different language or they have different beliefs. We don't, it's not about how we look. Sport is about being together. And I am grateful that I've learned this and I'm using that. And, and women's football, when I, when I reflect back my story, but the history of women's football is not very different. In the West, if you know about the history of women's football, if you have learned about it, so many years back, hundreds of years, women really, really fought hard. There was growth in women's football. It's not the first time that women's football have so many followers, there are common people in the stadiums watching women's football. There was growth, there were so many people coming to watch the women's game. But, unfortunately, they were told that it's not, the game is not for women, and they belong to the kitchen, and women got banned from playing football. It took many years to get back. And women's football has shown the resilience, great leadership, sense of responsibility, and the great players that are today here, and also the past who made this possible. So we're here to celebrate. I'm hoping that my story has, has taught you something, or shared something with you. Thank you for letting me to share my story. There is one message I want to give to everybody here, but whoever is also watching me is that I found my purpose through sport and through football, to do good in the communities, in the society, in the world. You find out what is that you are passionate about, what is it that you care about. There are so much noises around the world, so many things happening, but you just focus. Think what is it that you care about, what is it that you are passionate about, and how that care and passion can make change in your life, but also in your community. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. You, Let's have a little seat, do a question. Uh, so that was amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, you were also talking about being, being a role model and how important that is. Uh, can you explain just a little bit more, like, do I have to be like this big role model? Can it be in, on a, any level? How important is that role modelship? Listen, our world is becoming more digitalized. It's kind of like more hero. We are all heroes. We are all leaders. We just need to think about all the small steps. When I was a teenager, when I was in a young age, I started my activism from a very young age. On that time, I didn't know it's like I will be standing in front of the stage, there will be cameras. It was about how to role model, how to lead change in, in my home, in the little community, and also how to make difference. Yeah. We don't need to think always about 
the big, the uh, big media and attention, the pictures and the heroes. The heroes m are made from taking small steps. Nice. Yeah, I just wanted to hear that. Uh, so you were speaking about the power of football. Uh, you've had an incredible journey. And, and when did you realize like, that that power, that you could use it to unite women and girls across the world? Uh, when, when we first time came together and started a campaign, and especially when the first game we played with the national team, um, how old Adam, were you then? I was, uh, I was around 15, 16 yeah. years old. I wore the jersey with the budge on my chest. And the name of the, our name of the national team was uh, announced and the, the national anthem was played. That was the greatest moment in my life. Even before starting the game, I thought like we won the championship of that tournament because we really fought hard to earn that. Yeah. And the minute we were that, that was the best moment. And, and that is where I felt change is possible. Yeah. It, you, you just need to believe in yourself. You need to trust with others. We cannot make changes in our communities by standing alone, by just saying, I did it, I did it. We are a collective, um, collective human beings. That's why we cannot do changes just by standing alone, but making te teams and teaming up with others to do it together. Yeah, it's a powerful message, <laughs> thank you. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about the work that you do and where can we find more information about it? We're available on all social media channels, uh, Girl Power Organization, you can find it. Check um, it out now, I see a lot of people on the phone, <laughs> so, uh, check it out. Um, Girl Power Organization. As has a HQ in, in Denmark, started in Denmark, using uh, sport and leadership programs um, to uh, support the young leaders who are involved in the sport and want to become the future leaders, want to create changes in their communities. Um, and now we are in different uh, European countries, but also in different countries around the world. Amazing. It's quite a journey that, you've, uh, that, that you're still on. Uh, but there's also quite a journey within women's football. You also said that in your speech. Uh, today, sold out stadium. It's the Champions League final. Uh, what do you think about this growth of women's football in Europe? I am very happy. Um, very happy and very hopeful for the future of women's football. And I, I, I am sure that the women's football will be a great example that both men and women in different, different leagues will, will take that as a, as a great example of how women really stood up together. Not only women, but also men who believed in, in, in the promotion and empowerment of women through football, who really dedicated their time, their energy, they really fought hard to make this game beautiful. And, and today we are celebrating the success of those a long time yeah. fight. So women's football is just not, right? it's not just like you play a game, but it's like it has the speed, it has the technique, it has everything. Yeah. We're not missing anything. No, 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 no. And, and we don't need to compare. We don't need to compare. Hey, guys, we don't need to compare our game with any other game. I don't want to say men and women. Our game is beautiful. Yeah, and it's, it's unique in its own way. And it's selling out stadiums, so yes. that's amazing. Like tonight, uh, Barcelona, Wolfsburg. Um, maybe one last key message to the audience before we move on. Just try to, to make sure that what power you have and how can you, ma especially when you're, I'm sure like you're all in a sport and involved in a sport, how to create safer spaces if you see a teammate with a hijab or a teammate, different color, make sure that you reach out, make sure to create safe space where that person don't feel lonely and feel included and feel heard and feel seen. Thank you so much, Kalida. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That's Thank the one you. I want. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Time. I mean, that was amazing. How is everyone feeling? Are we still in here? <laughs> yes? Okay, cool. Let's switch to Fudumo. Thank you very much, Rocky. 
Kalina, that was so, so inspiring. And with me, I've got another aspiring yeah. athlete with us, Thank Daphne, you. Team Visa and Netherlands goalkeeper. How are you? Good. Obviously, we're here in the Netherlands ahead of an incredible sold-out final. How proud are you to have this sold-out final here in your country? Yeah, as a Dutchie, I'm very proud that it's sold out. Uh, I think that's a, a good message that women's football is growing in the Netherlands. So, yeah, I'm very proud of it. Obviously, you were only a teenager when the Netherlands won the Euros. It was hosted at home as well. How have you seen the growth of football in most recent years? Yeah, I've been there on the stands as a fan. Uh, I've been there uh, at the semis and the final in Enschede. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, seeing all those people, the full booked stadium. It was amazing being part of the fan and uh, yeah, watch it from the sideline and close to the, to the field. Yeah, it was lovely. I know you've come as a neutral today, but is there any team that you think or any player that's really stood out to you in this tournament so far? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, yeah, it's been a great uh, 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 tournament. It's the semi were very close, neck on neck. So uh, I think Wolves did a great job being on the final today. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm very curious who will be the winner, but I think it will be a, a tough game and an interesting game to see. So uh, I think, yeah, Wolfsburg is doing great and maybe they will win tonight. Absolutely. To and for you, I guess, coming into football and being a goalkeeper, you'll see in the world of football today, there's a lot more female athletes visible, sold out stadiums. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you used to see as a child or has it changed a lot for you? That's Yeah, yeah that's changed a lot for me. Uh, when I was playing football, I was uh, around 10 years old. Uh, that that time, football was not that close. Uh, you, can't, you can't see it on TV and now it's more visible. And even for the Netherlands, it's great to see all those, for those kids to see all the best players of the world in Eindhoven on the field. Uh, you can get it better, so yeah, it's perfect. And what was your own first memory of the UEFA Women's Champions League? Uh, I think that will be my own Champions League debut. Uh, it was in 2019 with Twente. Uh, we came uh, to the eighth, yeah, eighth final. Um, that was, yeah, it was really uh, a dream to come true to play in the Champions League. Uh, we lost against Wolfsburg, so I have uh, good memories of Wolfsburg. Um, yeah, from that time I followed every game, every tournament. So. Uh, yeah, that was my first experience with the Champions League. Lovely. And the best one's probably going to be coming today to a sold-out show. So we're very excited. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. me. Rocky, what's going on? A lot, because we're going to switch over to our next part. And this season, through the Queens of Football campaign, UEFA have been celebrating the history of the UEFA Women's Champions League final. Yes, and we're going to celebrate this because they're honoring the legends. And you might have seen some of the t-shirts. I see some of them in the audience. I'm gonna demonstrate it later on. They have played a key role in the growth of women's football in Europe. So it's time to bring them on because we are delighted to be joined by four women who play for clubs who have won Europe's biggest prize. So please give it up for our first guest with Wolfsburg's Connie Powlers who scored the goals that propelled them to their first UEFA Women's Champions League title exactly 10 years ago. Welcome, Connie Paulus, an absolute legend. It's time to bring in a Spanish legend. Buenos dias, because Sonia Bermudez kickstarted Barcelona's lights, leading her team to the quarterfinals for the first time ever. Como estas? Muy bien. Okay, that's the only Spanish I have. Right, so Julie Fleeting, played in the first English side to win Arsenal, a European title. Let's go, Julie Fleeting. Hello, welcome to the stage. Legends, people, legends. And last but least, we, not least, last but least, we have Lotta Schelling, won it all with Leon, including three UEFA Women's Champions League titles. Lotta Schelling. Hey. Thank you, all right, fist bumps. Any, anyone um, got, these got these tees? Anyone? Yeah. yeah, right? At home? Sorry. Where we go? Camera see right there. Bam. Yeah. So <laughs> these are... Are you, are you happy with these uh, shirts? Oh, yeah? Perfect. Yeah. Love them. They look good. It's amazing, right? Yeah. They're actually free, so you can get them here and then... Right? So... Um, we're going to talk about the queens of football. Uh, again, we're delighted to have all of you here. Um, so... 
Connie, let's yeah. start with you, because also you have an amazing Greatest Moment tea. Uh, it looks back to 10 years to Wolfsburg, and uh, it's the first UEFA Women's Champions League title, your goals that took them to the final. What are your memories of that game against Arsenal? Okay. Um, yeah, the game was very hard, and uh, Arsenal has a lot of chance, but uh, we have the luck that... I stay on the right position, <laughs> and then I scored, and uh, yeah, we that was uh, perfect for us. I we win uh, two zero uh, by Arsenal, and then uh, that's good. Uh, by yeah, we have the home. The next game was a home game, and then uh, it's perfect for us. It was open done. for the final. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for the Arsenal. We're, we're coming. We're coming <laughs> back at you, Julie. So you enjoyed many great moments in the UEFA Women's Champions League, winning it, uh, winning the trophy. <coughs> How many times? Four times. Yeah. Four times. Uh, which with three cl clubs? Yeah. With three clubs. So yeah. four times winning the Champions League final with three clubs. <laughs> that is amazing, Connie. Which final did you enjoy the most? Yeah, I, I can. Uh, all the f uh, yeah, all the finals was perfect and. With Turbine Potsdam, the first ti title, it was UEFA, Ch Ch UEFA Cup. Yes. We have uh, one game and a back game, and uh, it was different. Now yeah. it's better, much better with one game. And yeah, yeah then F Frankfurt was a, cr a great game against Umia with Marta and Marta, uh, the Brazilian Marta. I yeah, mean, and then the, the first uh, title with uh, Wolfsburg against Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't want to go yeah. there. <laughs> they, they, yeah. I love all the t titles. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Thank you so much, Connie. We're going to move on to your neighbor. How are you, Sonia? Mm, very good. Very good. <laughs> okay, it's good to have you here. Uh, Sonia uh, is also sometimes strugg struggling with the English, so she's she's uh, she's doing her best. I'm going to help you out as well. So, can you tell us about your memories of the Barcelona team who made it to the quarterfinal of the Champions in, League? In first time, uh, thank you for inviting to the heaven. Uh, sorry for my English. Uh, I was uh, the first time Barca quart to the reached the quarterfinal, and he was uh, to a special help uh, score two goals in that game. Amazing. Give Sonia applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and please don't apologize for your English. It's perfect. Thank you. Scoring no, no, perfect. No. This is a legend. I Sonia. study, eh? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Uh, so, uh, Lotta, let's go yeah. first here. So you have a lot of memories uh, and, and a lot of goals against Arsenal, <laughs> um, and scoring in the, in the semi-final to take Lyon to the first uh, title. Uh, could you tell us about those goals? Yeah, it, it was amazing because uh, the whole thing was uh, at our home soil. So uh, we played in front of our, our uh, um, supporters and you know the fans were like 20,000 and a great day and we played against Arsenal and I scored quite fast actually. And it was on the on the left side, um, and a few minutes later, I got the same opportunity on the same side, exactly the kind of the same goal, and I scored the second one, and uh, and yeah. we won that game. So it was it was just like when I look back, I feel like that game was so special uh, in front of our our uh, um, fans and uh, just taking that big step towards the the final that we later won uh, against Potsdam. So that was the first title also. So that was pretty amazing. And then scoring two goals. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, uh, even if you, know, you always say that it's not the most important thing, but it was just like with the whole thing, uh, it was uh, a really special moment uh, for me when I look back. Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much, a lot because um, let's switch over to Julie, because we've talked a lot about scoring goals against yeah. Arsenal. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's switch to Arsenal scoring goals. Uh, you're one of them. So um, you played a key role in Arsenal winning the UEFA Women's Cup in 2007. What are your memories? As Connie said, when I played, it was the two legs. So we were quite fortunate that the first leg was away from home. Yeah. Umia were a top European side at that time. Um, and we knew going away from home, we had to stay in the game, stay in the tie, and um, try and take a good result back to London to play the second leg. Um, and as the game was drawn to a close, it was 0-0. 
um, and we managed to, Alex Scott managed to score to, to give us that 1-0 lead to take back to, to London with us, give us a, a lead to try and protect and then to win it in front of our own fans in London was, was really, really special. And, Insane. Um, yeah, a, a proper goosebump moment. Nice. Amazing. So I can't wait to see more of that tonight, more of those amazing moments. Although Arsenal is, of course, not with us tonight, but we'll get back to that. Let's do a seasonal recap because I'd love to get your thoughts on how this season has been played. We've got Barcelona, Wolfsburg in the final. So let's start with you, Lotta, because um, who do you think has been your player for this season so far? Oh, there's a lot of them, Difficult. of course. And uh, I root for the Swedes, uh, Fridel and Rolfe uh, and Rebecca Blomqvist, who, who plays in each team. But, um, you know, if you look at Barcelona, uh, Bon Mati has been amazing and she's been growing this last couple of years. So she's going to be a, a huge uh, key uh, for, for success tonight. And, and you know, she's... She, I, I think that she's uh, in, a, in a good uh, position to, to be able to you know, make that dif difference that they need. Mm. Yeah. So Lyon, we had Lyon last year in the final against Barcelona. Yeah. Um, had a challenging uh, season this far, Lyon. Uh, how do you think they bounce back uh, from this? Like they always bounce back. I think that yeah. it's, uh, you know, they're, they're like such a good team and they have, uh, it's always, it's kind of in the walls, you know, uh, this uh, mentality of, of winning. So for me, there's not going to be a problem to, to bounce back. But, you know, it's, it's tough. It's hard when you have all these, you know, goals and you want to achieve them. It's yeah. always uh, hard to, and for them, it's like winning everything. If not, it's not a good season. True. But they showed it last year, I think, against Barcelona that they, s they still got it, you know? So uh, I think that they just have to, exactly like you say, like bounce back in new season and, and, uh, and um, still continue to, to believe, you know? Yeah, come back stronger, mm -hmm. even stronger than they already are. Yeah, exactly. All right. mm -hmm. Thanks, Lotta. So, Sonia, Barcelona have been top scorers in this, in this season's UEFA Women's Champions League yeah. and which performance impressed you the most? I really liked the match uh, to the Chelsea and a special actuation to Hansen. Yeah, okay, nice, so against Chelsea. And who has been your player? There have been lots of uh, great uh, players this season, uh, but for me, my favorite is Alexia. Alexia, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I recognize uh, Caroline Graham is uh, different. Nice, Caroline Graham. Hansen. <laughs> Great choices, thank you so much. So, uh, Julia, Arsenal overcame incredible challenges with a lot of injuries. I think there are still some ACLs at the Emirates Stadium uh, laying around. <laughs> um, which, um, how impressed are you with Arsenal this season? Yeah, I think, as you say, it's been a really, really tough season for Arsenal. I think you can always build a big squad of players, but when you lose real quality from your, your squad is very difficult to try and maintain those high standards. So it's certainly been a season that's really troubled Arsenal and um, to, to still reach the semi-final of the Champions League um, and get so close. It was really a cruel way to, to end the, the run in the, the competition. But um, I think next year, if they can get those important players back from injury, um, they could hopefully be a, a real force in European football. Yeah, and, and setting an attendance record, right, at, at the semi-final. You were in the stadium? I wasn't at the this, this stadium. I live um, in Scotland, but I was watching. And see, just to see the growth now in the game um, in England and in the UK has just been massive. And it takes the players at Arsenal and Chelsea and, and all of the other players who play down, down in England, it takes those players to really drag the game. And they're, they're doing such a wonderful job of, of promoting it back in the UK and, and um, wide in, in Europe as well. Nice. So, Connie, um, Wolfsburg has been unbeaten in this season's competition, but were taken all the way to the final minute to beat Arsenal. Um, was that their best performance of the season? I think so, yeah. This game was very hard and... Uh, uh, yeah, the player was uh, very tired on the... On the and and uh, I was very lucky that they uh, not go in the pi in the penalty penalty yeah, yeah penalties <laughs> yeah. and I wish that the uh, Jule Brandt yeah she 
Yeah. Yeah. Go in streaming. That she come earlier in. Then that's we finished uh, n after 90 minutes. Um, <laughs> but I say, please bring her, bring her. But then she's, yeah, scored or give the pass. And this was great. Uh, but it was the best uh, performance, yeah. And today, I think. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's move on. I can <laughs> let's move on to today because yeah. we have the final Barcelona Wolfsburg. It's gonna be a difficult call, <laughs> I think. So let's see, let's do some predictions. Because um what do you think, Connie? Um, um so of course they have fallen short in the last uh UEFA Women's Champions League finals, Wolfsburg. What does it take to yeah to, 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 to take it back home? Okay, they have to t stay strong on the beginning, their first uh, 15 minutes. Um, and then they have no scared, uh, play soccer, uh, go poppy at, at front, uh, play the ball on her head and <laughs> the ball and is she's gonna <laughs> go. <laughs> I thought you and we were going to call Tommy to get you on yeah, the Yeah, or <laughs> that's, uh, that's the reason that uh, maybe they win today. Please bring me on the bench, why I never last uh, <laughs> final. <laughs> I hold the water bottle and then <laughs> maybe <it's laughs> we've, we've we get the victory. Put you on the bench and, uh, and get that final in. Okay, so Julie, how important uh, is the return of Alexia Puteas uh, coming back from an injury? Yeah, I think for Barcelona, it gives them a massive, massive lift. They've certainly been doing okay without her, but when you have a player of her quality that you can bring in, um, it's a huge lift to the her own team, but I think for Wolfsburg, I mean they've got to fear her quality on on the pitch. So I think for Barcelona, it gives them obviously a huge edge. But on the other side, I think she's going to be a player who will be really important for them and someone that Wolfsburg will have to keep a very close eye on this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so Lotta, you know that these players are under huge pressure tonight. You all know how that feeling is. What would your message be for them? Like always, like you prepare for so long. They've been preparing for, for I don't know when the semi-final was exactly, but like a, a month at least. And, and uh, you know, they know that it's coming up and they are building up all these feelings and they're working on the pitch. And all of that is done like today it's just to enjoy it's yeah. just to go out there trying to be a, as calm as possible and do your thing like like always not thinking too much about uh, that it's a final yeah. just play their game because you know it's the most wonderful thing to to be in a final and just like go out there and enjoy it because uh, you know you maybe you're not going to be there again yeah. but uh, of course you know it's always this you you want to win also so uh, they uh, they will put everything in like 100% for sure all um, right mm -hmm. So Good both day. teams are putting in 100%. You've got a Swedish player at Barcelona, at Wolfsburg. Yeah. But who's going to take it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's always like, when I, when I look at it, you, you can see that Barcelona, yeah, they're winning everything. They play, they play so well. So you, it's easy to say Barcelona. Maybe in the end, I, I, I lean on that, maybe. But still, like Wolfsburg... <laughs> They are such an, you know, look at all the players. They're so, uh, so great. And it's a German team. And for me, a German team has the mentality and they know how to win. So it's Barcelona can't do like last year against uh, Lyon. Think that they maybe are like better normally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because if they, if, they, if they just relax for a second, it's going to be case. hard. Okay. Mm. Moving on to Julie. What do you think? What's your prediction? Really tough to split the the teams, especially from the semi final. When you see the character that was in that Wolfsburg side to go all the way, yeah, um, and win it in the end, I think they'll feel confident from the result that they had. Then, um, for me, there's quality on both sides. There's really wonderful attacking players on both sides. So, hoping for plenty of goals, um, mm -hmm. but for me, I'm leaning towards Barcelona. Barcelona. Sonia, who do you think uh, is going <laughs> to win? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, a match very, very similar. Yeah. But uh, I think Barca win 2 0. Barca win 2 0. Wolfsburg win 2 0. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much, Connie, Sonia, Thank Julie, you. and Lotta. You can get their t shirts. Please give them a round of applause. The legends. Thank you so much. We're switching over to 
a lunch break. Oh. It's time to get some food in. Everyone at home, please oh. stay with us because we will be back at 1 p.m. with my girl Fadumo and the Predictor Show. See you in a bit. Eet smakelijk. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to the Ronix Predictor Show. Yes. Playing at camp now, it was just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Frying pan with the meatballs. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the Euronix Predictor Show. We've got two teams that are going to go head to head in an all incredible final ahead of the Youth for Women's Champions League final. With me today, we've got two teams. First up, racing the stage is Janice van der Sanden and Beth Me Team Visa athletes. A lot of love. You've got a lot of love in the house. Uh, next up, we've got our second team of the day is Lotta Shellen and Julie Fleeting, Queens of Football. <laughs> right, guys, I just want to know who's the most competitive because I've heard a lot of talk backstage. There's been a lot of debate, a lot of disagreements. Who is the most competitive of you all? Oh, we're all pretty bad, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I think so. Maybe. It's quite even, I think, it's in quite that even. stage, yeah. That's good. Oh, Although that's good. we're hoping experience is going to pull through. Right, guys, oh. audience participation. Oh, Who do you think has got oh. this? For team one? <laughs> team two? <laughs> oh, oh come it on. is pretty even, but let's get straight into it. Oh, first up, we've okay. got a game called Pictionary. Um, what we're going to do first is, you've got those white boards in front of you. You get the chance to draw from one of these cards that you're going to select. Um, and once you've selected the card, you've got 45 seconds to draw the picture, oh, and your teammate has to guess what you've drawn. Okay. If you can't guess correctly, it goes on to the other team. Okay. Let's go. Beth, you're up first. No pressure. Oh, <gasps> give me a minute. Let me <laughs> mix it all up. You've got to show it to me. Okay. Okay. Oh. No pressure. <laughs> Come on, Beth. Good. Come you on. This, man. You Don't got this. Don't feel any pressure. Oh, I'm right. I can't draw. Never Club mind. Club ready? Don't do right. <laughs> 45 something. seconds, off you go. Right. Um, right. <laughs> Barcelona. Yeah. Oh. I thought that already. I just done. a trophy and so. Did it? <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. I actually want to say Barcelona here already. It was awful. Let's go. I'm very impressed because I was looking at that. Like, how are you going to get that? I was trying to think how to draw Barcelona. Well done, team <laughs> one. We got a point so far. Moving on to team Hope two. Hope it's more fun. <laughs> <The> stake. <laughs> Stay for my guys. I didn't have to draw that building. No, but the sun, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, she's confident. Look at this. Huh? Yeah, right, timer on the clock. <laughs> Off you go. Yeah, look there. Oh, yeah, look. It's a cup. It's a tournament. Uh, Champions League. The Women's Champions League. Uh, the the cup the tr trophy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did. You got that eventually. Got good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Right, no, this, this is a trophy. Very good. <laughs> okay, you've I'm come ready. to me, you're that excited. Good okay. Job. Right, there you go. Oh. oh, you got this. I believe in you. Right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Timer mm. on the clock. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the easiest. Right, timer cheating. Okay. Have you got the timer? The yes, off you go. <laughs> Beth, you've got to get this. <laughs> what is this? A hand? No. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't, what is that? And you also can't tell her. Uh, a, a goalkeeper. Glove. A goalkeeper oh. glove. Yes, oh. my girl. <laughs> we did get some audience <laughs> guidance, but it was a goalkeeper glove. <laughs> well done. Right. I was like, what is that bit at the bottom? Right. Not Team this. two. On, Lotta, if you want to come and get a card from me. There you go. Okay, All right. It's two, one. Let's go. Oh. Girl helped. Oh, I didn't even see it. Let me come over and have a look. Okay. okay, good luck. <laughs> oh my good luck, God. <laughs> oh my God, okay. All right, time uh, on the clock. Off wait, you go. Uh, <laughs> You're going to need the full 45 Don't seconds. overthink it, Lotta. Just do she it. She is. She's overthinking it. Uh, fun. Um, okay. Yep. <laughs> um, <good. laughs> 
Go ahead. Go, yeah, <laughs> seconds left. Um. Oh. Oh. Huh? Uh. <laughs> 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 no. Have you got any oh, clues, no. Julie? No, no, not so far. Right, oh, Claire. My eyes looking team. at that. Right. Uh, not that long no. left. No, yellow, not yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow. Ten seconds left. Oh, it's so hard. Maybe goalkeeper save. Yeah. Four, oh, yeah, three, two, uh -huh. one. Oh. No, it's not. Julie, what's your guess? <laughs> She's just A uh, cards? No, passing what over to team one. What Referee? No. Huh? No. Do you want to tell us what it is? Because what is the yellow thing? Uh, the is yellow was an accident. Do you want to tell I us what it is? Oh, no, yellow. yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it, it was an accident, actually, <laughs> but it was good <laughs> because can I say it? Yeah. It was kind. Of, it's a coin toss. Oh. So it was kind of like the yellow. Yeah, it was a big yellow. coin. That's Sorry, a big coin. That's so hard. <laughs> yeah, no, that I coin. Even get that I tried. I tried <laughs> with the euro. With the euro over there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe it was the, the, the euro. The dollar sign. The dollar sign. sign. Huh? Like a dollar sign. They said we can go dollar on. Dollar sign. Right, yeah, try with the mark. We can make it three one. Let's go. I'm so sorry. No, that's that was so hard. You can do this. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's go then. 45 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Off you go. Um, can you draw the logo? Go, go, go. Yeah. I think. I don't even know what the logo looks like, actually. Wolfsburg. Yeah. Oh. Oh. She needs some fire. Well done. Yeah, that was done. the correct answer. Great <laughs> stuff. I don't Coming know if on to team two. You've got to go one of those two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Three that one. was a little bit easier. <laughs> that <is> no <laughs> pressure now. <laughs> that is quite hard. Right. <laughs> Clock's on. 45 seconds. Off there. you go. Oh, we're going colour coordinated. Wow. Is that the sun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the football? The football <laughs> is scoring? <laughs> uh, oh. well, what is It's yellow. The, the yellow card? It's yellow? <laughs> it's not yellow. No, it's, it's gold. Oh, it's gold. A go uh, gold medal. No. Oh, the, um, the winner. What are, we, what are we thinking? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the player. The, go uh, the golden player. <laughs> Gold player. Winner. <sighs> Winning player. Right, time. <laughs> that was... I can see what you're trying to do, get her to do it, Gold but... Um, to passing it over to the side? Oh, no, I know. Do you think you know the answer is? Oh, gold, golden ball? Oh, Ballon d'Or. Golden ball? Ballon say ball? that again. Goalkeeper. Can I say? <laughs> uh, what can I say, say it? What did you say it was? I said Ballon d'Or, but I, mean, I don't know. No, not no. the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> golden boot. No, not the Golden no. Boot. <laughs> Do you want to tell everyone oh. what it was? Why is it? Lucy Bronze. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Beth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, great stuff. Yeah, good that's one. not Guys, easy. Um, that's a hard one to draw. So that, was that, was a, that was a very hard, a hard one to draw. One but let's move on to the second round. Did great oh, we won that one. Yeah. Yeah. We win. We win, right, this round. I'm not going to give away all the things yet. We've still got the rest of the round to get through. It was a good start. Strong start. Okay. Right, our next round is the buzzer round. Quickest to hit the buzzer and answer correctly gets a point. So hands by your side, guys. Can't be, can't be cheating. If you don't know right. it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who <laughs> am I? All right, actually, you know what? Let's test the buzzers first. Woo! <laughs> 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 I see it. Good choice. <laughs> I, mean, I like mine. Right. <laughs> right. Quickest to hit the buzzer and answer correctly gets a point. And the first question is, who am I? 20 Bayern Munich. So, yeah. Number one, who am I? 20 Bayern Munich, Arsenal, Wolfsburg. 86 caps for Netherlands. Who am I? Midema. Um, no. No, no, no. Jill no. Roy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jill. Well I was going to say Jill, but I didn't realize she played because it Because Spiff has over 100 caps. Right. Yeah. And she's not a Wolfsburg. Next one for who am I hands by your side, guys. It's a lot of... Yeah, come on. It's a lot of cheating going on. Right. Um, Stebeck... And um, who am I? Stebeck, Tyreso, Stebeck, Wolfsburg, Barcelona. 97 caps for Norway. Who am I? Whoa. Hans. Yes. Yeah. Engen. Hans, yes, that's correct. Hans. I didn't yes. hear your buzzer. No, <laughs> I heard the buzzer. I heard, I heard, I heard the buzzer. 
There you go. Right, that was a good one. Next Brilliant. one. We're still doing. I who am need I? To buzz before this happens. <laughs> who am I? Barcelona, Espanol, Barcelona, Western New York, Arsenal, Barcelona, Manchester City, AS Roma. Sixty-five caps for Spain. Who am I? For Spain. Loli uh, Lozada, Lozada. Vicky Lozada. Vicky Lozada. Yes. 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 Nice. Good. That was a I was lot gonna of ask you the full name, but you got it right. Right, last one for who am I? You still got a chance to get this back. Uh, Frankfurt, Bad Nahur, Wolfsburg, 101 caps for Germany. Who am I? Swenja Hood? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are the good role, though, so well done. <laughs> right, I forgot let the two team. do. Come on, guys. Can you tell me again? Uh, can you pull us? Can, we, ha can yeah. we hear it again? That is wrong. It's Martina Molnar scored the winning goal to see Wolfsburg's oh. first Women's Champions League title. <laughs> Martina Molnar. Oh. Yes? Martina Muller. Yeah. Next section. We've got quick fire rounds. So again, I'm going to ask you some questions. Quick as hit the buzzer gets the point. Okay. Who? Okay. When did Wolfsburg win their first Women's Champions League title? Whoa. That Twen was from the side. 2013. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Correct. We we <laughs> You're back in it, guys. <laughs> right, next one. How many times have Barcelona appeared in a Women's Champions League final, including this year? Okay. This will be the fifth. No, this will be the fourth. Huh? Is oh. it? Four and five years. Oh, I thought third well as done. well. No, it's sick. Okay. We'll come back to you. Right. Which Wolfsburg <laughs> player is the top goal scorer in the Women's Champions League this season? Oh. Eva. Eva. Yes, <laughs> correct. I didn't know that. You just be quicker with the buzzer, guys. Yeah, Come on. Pop, right, who is the fastest player this season? <laughs> Delphine Cascarino? No. Can I put it past me over to the side? Oh, yeah. And the final? And the, uh, the two teams? Yeah. What? Oh, in, in the, the two well, teams? No, this this oh. season, who's been the fastest um, player? But Ushuala or? Or no. no or. No. Um, um, uh, I need an answer very quickly. Can we guess Graham again? Hansen, guys. Can we guess yeah, can, I, can we answer again? I, you can't. Oh. <laughs> I said, you I said was going, Graham Hansen was the answer. Uh, oh. Right. Oh, How many times has the Women's thinking. Champions League final been held in the Netherlands? Oh. Prior to this. They've just won, right? Before this. One. Okay. Passing on. <laughs> How many times has the Women's Champions League final been held in the Netherlands prior to this year, before this year? In the Netherlands? Before. Is it zero? Yeah, there you oh go. Oh You're wow. correct, uh, correct. I don't zero. Like this is I the first time for any. Well done. I just knew it today, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you cleaned it this year. Yeah, what is right. it? Well, it was a trick today. Why? Why? What is the score at the moment? I, I think the worry? <laughs> we've got lead. At we've least. got VAR keeping an eye on the score. Oh. We're gonna <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're going to keep it going. Right, how many time, oh no, How many different countries have produced a Women's Champions League winner? Oh wait, wait, what did you say? <laughs> how many we got distracted I'll repeat the question one more time. <laughs> how many different um, countries have produced like a Women's Sweden, Champions League winner? England, France, France, Germany. You want to just guess? Spain. Like yeah, five. Yes, five, correct. It was mm. Germany, oh, France, you know Sweden, yeah. England, England and Spain. Well, you, didn't wake up. By a you, didn't, you were yeah. sleeping for that one. All right, you've got your <laughs> chance to get this one in. <laughs> Who on, has girls. had <laughs> the most assists this season? Bria Bozza, gone. Who has had the most assists this season? From, from the two teams now? All of them. Oh, yeah, yes. right. Bon yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Who was that? Okay, there you go. But this may be in Last the, question, in the guys. League. Probably. At least you've got a chance to redeem yourself. Are you still, still playing? Wait, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> are they in the <laughs> game? Yeah, <laughs> they are in the game. You could draw, though. You've got a chance to redeem yourself. We can yourself. draw, you <laughs> can. <laughs> <laughs> the other team. We're going to let the audience decide who wins later on. But yeah. for now, last question. Right. Top goal scorer for, the for this season so far? Don't all start. jump at once. <laughs> Champions League? Yeah. Champions League got top goal scorer this, so it's this season so far. Say that. Eva Payot. Wait, what? Yeah, you were. Eva Payot. Yes, sir. Oh, Payot. You hit the buzzer, but you didn't give me an answer. She passed that one. Oh, that's true. Right. I've been too nice. We're waiting to see who gets it first. So that's what I was waiting for first. Oh, okay. Right. You can redeem yourself. Next one. Still, we're still on the buzzers. Well played. Quick as hit the buzzer and give me the answer gets the point. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Wrong answers only. Who is the Spanish team in this year's final? Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Correct. 
Where, it's where just is wrong quest- answer. Huh? Wrong answers wrong answer. only. Wrong answer. Yeah. yeah. Where is wrong this? answers? I don't understand. I'll give you two. I didn't hear that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> well, you just say whatever. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Next one, guys. Where is this year's final being held? Eindhoven or Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Huh? Yeah. No, no, wrong. Right. Wrong. So it's right. Yes, yeah. that's right. See, yeah, I got this exactly. one. <laughs> 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 yeah. she, right. she didn't even know. So <laughs> next one. Okay. What do pl- players wear on their feet during the game? Slippers or ballet <laughs> shoes? Slippers. Or what is slippers? That was slippers. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 right. <laughs> what time is kickoff today? Three o'clock or four o'clock? Three. Three o'clock. We were first. They were first. They were first. She was first. Right. What colour is Wolfsburg kit? Blue or Purple. green? Blue. 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 <laughs> you keep shouting the answer before you hear the buzzer. Last one. <laughs> Fill in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> I've not read the answer yet. Fill in the gap. UEFA Women's Champions League Cup or final? Cup. 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 There you go. You're right. Yes. Well done. So Redeem yourself. <laughs> right. Is it still the wrong that answer? Was, that was <laughs> is it still the wrong answer? Yes. Okay, we're done. Let's take a breather and recap a little bit because there's a lot happening here at the same time. It's funny. Shh. Oh dear. Yes, you have a recap of those buzzers and then move on to the next round. Um, but you guys have done well so far. Yeah, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate Mine. that. <laughs> <laughs> you need that. I'm, as if you're surprised. <laughs> right. Our final round for this will be the randomizer. Um, we've got three okay. categories and you'll each get a turn. There'll be fan questions. So simply for that one, you just answer a question from one of the fans. Either we've got fans in here or we've got fans who are watching the show online who have sent in their questions. So we're going to have either of those two. <coughs> this or that <coughs> is the other one. I will read out a statement and you'll need to tell me your choice. Um, and finally, obviously, it can't be a predictor show without the prediction. So I'm going to ask you for today's prediction or what you mm. think is going to happen. Got it? Yeah. So. Right, guys, let's spin we'll that see. wheel. I don't think my mic works anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They've switched me off. <laughs> no more competition, then. Oh, oh first up, we have got a fan question. I think so. Oh. <coughs> right, let's, let's have a look it. around. We're going to take it from online for this one. Uh, right. You still got to kick the buzzer to get oh, this okay. one. So name your Barcelona or Wolfsburg five-a-side team. Together. What was it? So once you're ready, you click the buzzer. <laughs> Lucy Bronze, Jill Roard, uh, Alexia, and <laughs> need a physical player, so Poppy. Poppy. Uh, Alexandra Pop. But we're not playing with a keeper. No, no, keeper. no, 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 keeper. no, 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 keeper. Any manner. No, 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 keeper. Exactly. <laughs> no keeper. <laughs> Team two, what's your father's side? I would have to pick one. Bonmati, and Bonmati, she yeah. would be in Alexia. Alexia. And, and Pop. Yep. On top. And Lee, maybe. Huh? Leon? Do we throw another yeah, defender? Yeah. We'll throw another defender. Leon? Yeah. yeah. So you they can be in many together. Many You just made it up. Is that five? I think so. Yeah, you, you need the next one, but I'll give it to you. I fine, just said worry. my team, and I didn't I even did. spoke. I didn't get an opinion. <laughs> 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 she did. At least we were <laughs> opinion <laughs> talking <laughs> in Chinese. But okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's fine. You, you can both contribute to the next one. Right, let's okay. spin that wheel. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. Right for this one is this or that. Um, boss. Barcelona or Wolfsburg, team one. Who do you think would Oh, we've got a mixed decision on this. I know there's a bit of devi- divisiveness there here. There is. Okay, go on, Beth, you tell me. Who do you think's going to win? I think Barcelona. I think Wolfsburg. Any this is a great particular team. I know, we're <laughs> really sticking <laughs> together. What, any particular reason why? Yeah, because Wolfsburg is going to bring the physical part, and in the final, it's always quite physical, because the girls are getting nervous. It's not always a nice way of playing football, so I think that's what they're going to bring, the physical part, and Barcelona doesn't really like to play against that. Mm. What about yourself, Beth? I think Barca are going to pop them so they can't literally <laughs> touch them. <laughs> that was Sorry one. for the pun. That was a good <laughs> pun, though. Very good Thank pun. You. Right, let's go to team two. Um, they obviously set, had uh, divided on that side. What about you guys? What do we're you united. Oh, OK, united front. Of course, we're staying as a team, and um, we're going Barca. OK, how come? Yeah. Um, the, for me, they've got too many good attacking threats. 
and I just think they'll be too strong for Wolfsburg on the day. Yeah, and, and I, I think that they learn a lot from, from the previous, previous. finals. So yeah. like last year against uh, Lyon, they, they won't go there again. I think that they will be pre prepared. So mentally I they're in a, another <laughs> situation. But yeah. then like Wolfsburg it. also played some finals and they lost I quite know, a lot in the finals. I know, I know. So hopefully I'm they not learn sure. from that as well. I'm yeah. not sure. You never know if you're to Wolfsburg. Guys, you never know. Guys, you you never know. know. <laughs> you <laughs> you I'm Team Green, so... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Right. Um, spin the wheel. Oh. You can see it on there. That's been there all the time, you know. Right, we've got this year. This or that again. Who would you rather have on your team? Alex Pop or Alexia Patele? Oh. I'll go to team two for this one, actually. Let's but that's so team. hard. I know. That's yeah. so <laughs> hard. Like, I, I would love to play with the Pateas, but at the same time, like, Pop, she's always, she's always being the difference, yeah. you know? Mm. She's always, like, going there, scoring the, the, the final goal, you know? So I, know. I want her in my team. Yeah. Like, I don't know what yeah, you feel. No, I'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's hard. Guys, what about, what about you lot from the audience? Who would you have, Pop or Pateas? Oh, I can't oh. really hear anyone. Next. <laughs> like so What's going on? Mix. Who would you have? Mixed bag. I feel like it's Pateas more on this side. What about you lot? But I understand them as well. Yeah, okay. we like said Pateas, but then she always scores goals. Like even Germany, like just scores goals. Doesn't matter yeah. what one you go with. You're I mean, get a call they're both pretty good. Appreciate both. They appreciate both. And that's, they're okay. That's a very yeah. good yeah. Yeah. diplomatic <laughs> answer. Right, on moving on. Let's spin the wheel again. Oh, we've fan got a question. fan question. And we're going to go to the audience for this one. Rocky, where are you? I'm here with oh, a very look special, who it is. special player. <laughs> Hello. It's <laughs> also <laughs> not yet. Rocky, sorry, I'll speak for you for a minute. Yeah. Look okay. who it is. We are with Footballing Royalty. Sama, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Well, nice. I know you've got it's a question to ask yeah. the crowd. Yeah, I think it's working out. I have a question for Shanice. Uh, yes. <laughs> how do you manage to run as fast as Usain Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, yeah, how do I manage to do that? I will never be as fast as him, to be honest. It's not going to work. He's just something else, so I don't know. But you're pretty close. Very do good. you think Very so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Teachers. I think so. Teachers. Okay, then I'm just going to work more on my power, Selma, so I get faster. <laughs> okay. Okay. Th thank you. You're welcome. Lovely. Thank you very much, Selma. <laughs> right, spin the wheel. Let's see what's coming up next. Predictions. Ooh, this is where it gets a little bit juicy. Right, team two. I'll start with you guys. Um, predictions for today. What do you think? Bear in mind that both teams have had very good campaigns throughout the season. Well, we said Barca, but what what score do we think? What score line? I kind of I kind of think that it's going to be a like a equal score, like one one. Uh, they're going to draw, yeah. And then maybe. Oh, you think we get penalties? Yeah, oh, I mean, penalties or like uh, yeah, or just prolonged. Extra time. Uh, yeah, extra time. But so uh, like a two-one or a. Yeah, in the end. Two-one. Two-one. We'll go two-one. Two-one Barca. Well, where's the? They're still debating. So I'm going to ask you guys in the audience what you, you think the score is going to be. What team do you think is going to win? Oh, we've got Barca in the heavy over here. Come on. What about you guys? I think it's I know you were be. divided, so let's We're still see. divided, okay. I think, but um, I was going to say 3-1 Barca. 3-1 Barca, that's a very strong scoreline, though. Yeah, I think it's going to go 1-1, and then Barca are going to have too much. Score a few. Oh, okay. I think it's going to be 2-2, two, two, and then in extra time, Wolfsburg is going to win 3-2. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very strong scoreline. Good predictions, guys. Very good predictions. <laughs> we'll probably let's all be wrong. Let's the wheel yes. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Someone's got to be right. Right, we've got another fan question. Oh. Uh, and this one has come from our audience who are watching online. Thank you very much. Oh. Who is the most underrated player, do you think? Oh. Oh. I may sound biased, but I actually think Kira Walsh is very underrated. Mm. Yeah, I think like she can make things happen. Like If you look at us in the Euro final, she made it happen. She made the goal, first goal happen. I think a number six's job is very underrated. Mm. 
Yeah. yeah, always. And do you think sometimes yeah. like her contribution isn't spotted as much, say, like a goal scorer or yeah. someone? I mean, yeah, it was, it's nice as a goal scorer. You get the plaudits, but yeah, sometimes them players don't. And I think, yeah, Kira only recently has probably got people talking about her a little bit more. Yeah, that's a very good one. What about you guys? Who do you think? Sorry, been I, don't I agree. I'm, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> we agree on something. There you go, there you finally. Go. But I have a little bit a different take on it because I, I always say or often uh, say like Wendy Renard and of course, you know, everyone knows her and she's one of the best and she's always like in the best 11, but still she hasn't, you know, won the best prize. And for me, it's like a little bit underrated uh, in, in some way because she's been like keeping this level yeah. for so long. So she should be like yeah. up there. maybe. Yeah, she's incredible. She's been at the top of her game for such a long time. Mm. Right, good one, guys. Spin the wheel and see what is next. All right, we've got another one, this, this or one. that. <coughs> would you rather be, I think I know the answer to this one, would you rather be a runner-up for four years or win the Champions League for one season? Oh, and oh. Never. They're never easy. again after that. That's easy. Win. Win. Yeah, yeah, win. Yeah. Win. 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 Yeah. Win, of course. You don't want to lose. You well, don't want to be serious. Really. You don't want to lose. No. no. They're the winners. They're all winners. They're all, all very winners. competitive. Both. That does make sense, though. I'd give, I'd give you guys that. Right, next one. Spin the wheel. Let me lose them all. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We've got another prediction. We, speak, we spoke a little bit about underrated players and stuff. I guess another underrated position or one that's heavily <coughs> criticised or praised is like goalkeeper at times. So who do you think is going to win the Golden Glove mm. this mm. season? Who do you think is going to win that? Is it got to be the two of Anyone. The goals. Anyone, really? Over there? It depends on, on if, if they Actually, win no, let's go to team one. There's a lot know. of discussion happening here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn around from me. So we think. We think I can still see. see. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to yeah. say? I mean, the Chelsea goalkeeper is. Yeah, I think Berger's been pretty good at Chelsea. She's made some big saves for them oh, in big we're moments. Going, oh, we're going yeah. right, yeah. And she had a tough like moment in life as well. Yeah. yeah. Because she had cancer, came back from it, and was still on the high level. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's not easy to do. No. No, so definitely. That's a good choice. Yeah. What about you, yeah. Team Two? No, but if it, it's often if you if you win with your team, uh, you've been doing well, and you know Barcelona, they, you know, no one scores a lot against them. So yeah. Panyos, I think, and the Barcelona goalkeeper. No one gets yeah. Yeah. No one And gets if to they the win, goal. like we predicted, <laughs> exactly. Like nobody gets, <laughs> nobody gets to the goal. That's why she's <laughs> really good. <laughs> that's <laughs> why <laughs> nobody makes. It. No, that's true. That's a very very good choice. Right. Let's. Spin the wheel and see what's next. Predictions again. Predictions. <coughs> right, uh, mm. prediction. Another one. Mm. Always talk about goals, goals, goals. Goals galore in this Women's Champions League. Who do you think is going to win the Golden Boot? I'll come Payor? to Payor? Team 1, actually. I think it'll still be. Do you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, top. Top. yeah so Payor then. Yeah, what well do you think Payor? Payor. Oh, it's hard to She's pretty up there already. Yeah. So. We'll back her. We'll back her. Yeah. Fayor. Yeah. Yeah, right? So she's on eight goals, is that right? Yes. And then next, is it Bon Is she on five? So yeah. that yeah, would no, require. We've got to get her the on for the final. In the final, three that's. Equal. You did say 3 1. So you never know. I did say that. that yeah, that's that pretty hard to do. So <laughs> yeah, I would say the same. That's good. We've got a collective Great. approach. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, we're at the end of the show. Um, there's been a lot of debates, a lot of arguments, but we made it, mainly to show you it's all done. Um, and to decide our winner, it's only right that we get our lovely audience involved. Yeah, so I think we won. I think we won. <laughs> I love how Beth is standing up straight for this. Right, if you <laughs> cheer as loud as you can and as you want, if you believe Team One have won us as of today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good reception. What about Team Two? Oh, it's curly. Oh, oh I feel like that was a little bit even. So we're gonna do it one more time, just to check. Even. Do you believe? Even. <laughs> even I've got to make sure this is VAR. Yeah, that's how we're alive. Right. The point. Team One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Team Two. Come on. No, even I mean, there is a very, very clear winner in this situation. We could count the points. Yeah.
Congratulations. Yeah, you should go back to <laughs> <laughs> Well yeah, done. Great games. Yeah, well great done, guys. We knew more than before. We knew. You did do well. We won. You all did very, very well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for Thank taking you. part. Thank you. Uh, Yes, here we are. Hello. So we are at the end of the show, but before we go to the end of the show, look at this amazing artwork. Yes, it's all done. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's give it some love. Um, so yeah, we're at the end, but as we know, the biggest show is yet to come because Barcelona and Wolfsburg are going head-to-head -head at the PSV Stadium. And we want to do a major shout-out to this amazing location, Evaluan. And thank you so much, Fadumo. This was a lot thank of fun. Thank you, Rocky. It was a lot of fun. It was very competitive up there, but we made it. We yeah. had a great time and cannot wait for the final where we find out whether it's Barcelona or Wolfsburg that take that all-important trophy home. And before we leave, thank you so much for everyone watching at home. And if you want to watch the game, you go to the own YouTube channel, 4 o'clock, and we want to do another special thanks for all of our partners in women's football. Thank you for watching. And, see and you thank later. you to our audience. You guys have been amazing. Thank Woo! you so much. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Yeah.